Hello everyone, I'm Craig McLeish and welcome to my 12 12 12 video. One of a series of short videos made by vocal experts from all walks of vocal life. Each week, Project Get Singing will provide you with free content for you to use in your online sessions and it's all completely on the house. I run youth choirs and community choirs and I try and use as many different musical styles as possible, like we all do. But today, I've been asked to centre on the classical choral tradition, possibly because I was a choir boy many, many years ago. I believe that we can use elements and even repertoire from classical music in our sessions and it doesn't need to be as out of reach or as difficult as it is perceived to be. That's what I believe and I hope that by the end of this you might agree with me. OK, let's get started. We're going to start with a little bit of vocal health. It's very important that we prepare the area around the vocal cords for singing before we try anything. We can do this in a number of ways and it's the best to be as gentle as possible. Start by turning your neck 90 degrees one way. Hold it, feel the stretch at the back, come back to the centre, go the other way. I don't like that way, but I need to work on it. And let's come back to the centre. This time only go 45 degrees and then down and you'll feel the stretch back here. Hold it, back up to the centre, other way, down, feel the stretch, back up again. Good. Now a bit of work on the tongue. Put the tongue just behind your top teeth there and push forward. Uh, make an agreeable noise as you do it. Uh, feel the stretch at the bottom of the tongue there. Now the bottom teeth. Uh, very attractive. Uh, feel the stretch. Okay, the muscles of the tongue need to wake up before we start singing words. So try some teeth cleaning, maybe uh, anti-clockwise first. Maybe four times one way, four times the other way. Again, not attractive, but very, very useful. Okay, this is called magic toffee. Put the toffee inside, and each time you chew, it gets bigger and bigger inside and ends with, hopefully, what is a genuine yawn. Okay, very good for stretching. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. I think that was a real yawn. Was yours real? It's very healthy to start singing on consonants where you can sing a note. These include V, Z, J. Let's do a V one. Upper semitone. Try Z. J H J J Okay, now it's time for our very first bit of classical music. We are going to use a violin study written by Rodolf Kreutzer in 1796. This is number one of his 42 violin studies. We'll start on C. We're going to sing on the on the N G sound of the word sing. Mm, sing, mm, just do that. Sing, sing, sing. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. It goes like this. Sing. Very good for agility. Get those notes right in tune, right in the middle. Sing. With all good vocal exercises, you go up a semitone next. Are you ready? Sing. Thank you, Rudolph. And now a vocal exercise with a few more notes. One of my favourites. And it includes some quite classical elements. An octave up. A scale down. And an arpeggio. Like this. La, 
la 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 so try it la with a gap after that first note and then dive into that top note using lots of space at the top of the head la la nimble down the scale la 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 and then between those notes in the arpeggio, la, 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 push them out one by one with a bit of help from the core muscles down below. La, 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 la. Your turn. And la, 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 la. Up one. La, 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 one more. La, 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 la. Okay, now we're ready for maybe our first round. Each bit of music we sing, we're going further back in time. The music for this round was by Carl Gottlieb Herring, and he was born in 1766. He didn't write the words, the original was German, but we've got these words about coffee, which maybe was as true then as it is today. Okay, so there it is on the screen. C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, coffee is not for me. I actually disagree with this personally, but never mind, let's try that. C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, coffee is not for me. That's the first bit. It's a three-part round, so you need three groups. Second bit. It's a drink some people wake up with That it makes them nervous is no myth Okay, try that. All quavers. It's a drink some people wake up with That it makes them nervous is no myth And the final part starts on the F. Slaves to a coffee cup, they can't give coffee up. There's that octave leap again. Slaves to a coffee cup, they can't give coffee up. Okay, so the whole thing together. And C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, coffee is not for me. It's a drink some people wake up with That it makes them nervous is no myth Slaves to a coffee cup They can't give coffee up OK, let's perform Coffee by Carl Gottlieb Herring with words by Eleanor O'Connor. Choose your group. There are three groups. Group one starts. Here's the notes. C. One, two, three. C O F F E E, coffee is not for two. me. It's a drink some people wake up with. Coffee it makes them nervous. Is not for me. It's a drink some people wake up with. Coffee makes them nervous. Is not for me. It's a drink some people wake up with. Coffee makes them nervous. Is not for me. You could write your own words to some classical tunes. We might come on to that a little bit later. We now come on to my main warm-up today, and it's Non Nobis Domine. Originally attributed to William Byrd, many musicologists think it's probably not by him, which is a shame because I think it's such a piece of genius, it would be amazing to think it was by the great master himself. OK, on the screen I've put probably all the music you'll need to learn this. It's the basic tune in the first key, which works for the higher and the lower voices. 
I'll come on to the middle voice in a minute. Let's first of all learn it in this key. Now the very observant among you will notice this is in Latin. Don't be scared of Latin, it's only old Italian and Italian is a wonderful language to sing in of course. What I say to my singers is just pretend that you are Bruno Tonioli of Strictly Come Dancing and you'll get the vowels right. So non nobis domine. Try that. Non nobis domine. Non nobis. There's not much more. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. And that happens twice. Okay. So, here's the first of the three tunes. Non nobis domine, non nobis. Try that. Non nobis domine, non nobis. You start there if you're in the higher voice. Second bit. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. So you start a fifth up from where you ended off the bees. And one. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. That's the second bit. And the final bit is a kind of copy of that, starting a fourth lower. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. Do that again. And one. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. And then you immediately start the beginning again. Non nobis domine non nobis. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. And then you're back to the non again. It's so simple, and yet when you hear all three parts work together, you realise the genius behind the composition. Okay, so if you're on the higher voice or the lower voice, you've already learnt your part. And I'm going to just do a performance of that now. So let's mute the alto. <clears throat> Can you see where the lower voice comes in? It comes in when the upper voice is singing the net of domine. Non nobis domine. Non there. Okay. So you'll hear that now. If you're in the upper voice or the lower voice, you can sing this. I'll fade it out after a couple of rounds. There's the note. Non nobis etc. Okay, so we've put the original tune together on the higher voice and the lower voice coming six beats later. Now, here comes the genius part. That whole tune works a fourth lower than that starting on that third beat. So if you're singing the middle part, that could be altos and high tenors, you sing the whole tune down a fourth. Just transpose it down, follow the same pattern, Try it with me now. And non and. Non nobis domine non nobis. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. Sed nomini tuo da gloriam. Non nobis domine non nobis. Okay, let's just use that with the first two parts. I'm going to mute the bass and have the first two parts 
canonically working together. So you can either start there or two beats later down there. Are you ready? You should have started successfully again there on your second round. So are we ready for our final performance with all three parts? Not quite yet. There's a little ending to learn. There's a moment where we have to finish all together and it works like this. We're going to do four times round the whole thing and at the end the sopranos, the higher part I should say, the H, you start again and you finish on the net. So you go no, no, bis do, mi, ne. That's where you finish. The medium part goes, O da gloriam, no, no, bis do, mi, ne. And you'll finish on do, mi, ne. There. The lower part will simply sing do, mi, ne at the end of that fourth round. To O da gloriam. Domine. That's what happens. Okay, are you ready for our full performance of the three-part version of this amazing canon Non Nobis Domine, possibly by William Byrd, but probably not? Okay, you're either higher, starting there, medium, middle, starting a fourth down there, or lower, starting there, after six beats. We're going to go four times round, and the third time we go a little quieter, nice and gentle, build it up the last time, and then we end on the domine that I showed you earlier. Here we go. hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. What a brilliant little piece it is and over 400 years old. Thank you for joining me today. I think we've got time for one more little tune. During lockdown uh, me and my wonderful classical choir TGI, we meet on a Friday morning, we've been trying to write words or suitable lyrics to well-known classical tunes. We've done The Sorcerer's Apprentice, we've done The Hall of the Mountain King from Peer Gint, uh, the slow movement of Mozart's clarinet concerto. This one uh, we're taken from Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite, the Dance des Milleton. We've called this the Dance des Milleton, and the words are by my tenor Karen Howard. It's the flute part, so it's a bit tricky to sing. Well, it's virtually impossible to sing actually, but have a little go at it. Um, I'll be trying it here. Uh, there's the music on your screen. 
Let's have a little bit of fun before we finish. Okay. Everyone's a fruit and nut case Waiting to get out into the open What a big frustration, discombobulation Never will I love this strange unnatural situation Everyone's a fruit and nut case Waiting for the blessed vaccination let me out the front door I can't take this no more I wish we live in New Zealand Of course if you already live in New Zealand well done, we're catching up slowly but we'll get there Thank you so much for joining me today Thank you to MD Brunch and Project Get Singing for asking me Why not get involved in all the other things they're doing? Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and of course, all these resources are there on the YouTube channel for you to use with your choirs and your singers. Let's get everyone singing back safely as soon as we can. Bye bye.